Hi, my beautiful people. TJ Isaacs here. Welcome or welcome back. Hello, guys. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Um, and I hope you guys are doing great also. So today I have another Bollywood reaction. <laughs> yeah got another bollywood reaction for you guys but before we get into that if you'd like to know what is on my face then make sure to check the description box down below everything i use on my face will be listed down there so you can check that out and um yes guys i hope you like the look today what are you thinking guys nice yeah Okay, well, if you like it or you just like me in general, <laughs> then make sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. Um, make sure to share and leave me a comment down below. Alrighty, guys, let's get back into our Bollywood reaction. <laughs> yeah. So for today's Bollywood reaction, it's actually a request from, I think this is from Taba. Yes, I think this is from Taba. You requested this song. Um, this is called Kamoshian Gungunane Lagi, and it's from the movie One to Kafo. It is featuring our one and only beautiful, handsome, mega superstar of all time, <laughs> my baby. Shao Khan <laughs> and the beautiful Julie Chola. So guys, if you'd like to see my reaction, then you know what to do. Just stay tuned guys, okay? All right, are you ready? Yeah? Cool, Lego. <laughs> She's probably thinking what I'm thinking. Oh, he's so cute when he sleeps. Look at him. Kamoshiya gunguna ne lagi, tanhai ya muskura ne lagi. Sargoshi kare hawa, chupke se mujhe kaha, dil ka hal bata. दिल पर से ना छुपा सुन के बात ये शर्म से मिली आंखें झुक जाने लगी I'm 
नजर कर गई असर दुनिया सवर जाने लगी खामोशिया गुनगुनाने लगी तनहाइया मुस्कुराने लगी कह दो खुदा हाफिज ओ मेरी जाना है घड़ी मिलन की खुदा रा लौट के न आना रात That was so cool. Oh my God, guys, that was so cool. That was so nice. And uh, hmm, I didn't know the words to this one, guys. I didn't know the words. So I couldn't sing along. But nevertheless, it was still amazing. It was still beautiful. It was. What can I say? Come on now. What can I say? It was still nice. It was still nice. Anyway, guys, so let's quickly do the credits. The film is One to Cut For, which I was told to watch. Um, and I did watch it. I don't know where I've been. I don't know why I've never watched it before, but I finally watched it. We'll get into that. Okay. The song is Kamoshi Gungunane Lagi, and the singers are Lata Mangeshka and Sony Nigan. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful voices. Um, the lyrics are by Mehboob, and the music director is A.R. Rahman. So, um, the cast of the film is obviously Shara Khan and Juri Chola, as well as Jackie Shroff. But in this music video, it is only Sharuk and um, Dewey. So, it, <laughs> so first of all, oh my God, I loved it. And I just, <laughs> I loved the beginning bit where it was just like the two of them in like the living room in their house. And um, Sharuk is really tired. And from watching the film, Dewey's character, She's a chatterbox. She is a chatterbox. Like, she just runs her mouth. She's just like, yap, 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 yap. And Sharuk is like, uh uh, he ain't got time for that today. He's tired. He just want to sleep. So please, mm, zip it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> He's like, girl, don't even say one word to me. <laughs> just, I just want to sleep, please. So he's um, drifting off to sleep and she's just there watching him. And I could just, I could just tell you what she was thinking while she was watching him sleeping. I mean, some people might think that it's creepy just watching someone sleep. But um, I think it's kind of sweet. I think it's kind of romantic. Oh my God, story time. Story time, guys. I have to <laughs> a mini story time. So um, I think like when you watch someone sleep, I think it's like the cutest thing ever. Like I remember when I was, mm, I was young. Oh my god, I can't even remember how old I was. It was so long ago. I was like, I think I was probably like fourteen or fifteen. And yeah, 
probably in like yeah 14 15 or 16 one of those and I was I was ill and I was um, rushed to hospital and so I was in hospital and like obviously like family and friends come around and like they visit you and everything like that and then so because I was like I was really ill and so I was really heavily medicated so obviously I'm always like in and out of sleep and so I was like I was sleeping and then um I think I woke up and there was like one of my friends I was sitting there and this was like um I would say like my boyfriend <laughs> He was my boyfriend at that time and um he came to see me at the hospital and oh my god <laughs> I still remember it to this day guys it was so like it was so sweet it was so I mean like I just was like oh the cutest thing ever so I was sleeping and I opened my eyes and he was just there like sitting beside me and you know just watching me sleep like he didn't disturb me he didn't want to wake me up or anything like that he was just like right there just beside me and just watching me just letting me sleep and I thought that was like the sweetest most amazing most romantic thing ever and you know because like you know when you're young so obviously those little things like they mean something to you and like oh that really touched my heart. Like he was like really one of my best boyfriends. <laughs> so yeah, he he was like yeah, he was so cute. I I really I really really like um I really liked him. Like he was he was a good guy. He was a good <laughs> he was a good guy. He was fun. And um yeah, that was that's like my little mini story time, you know. So he was watching me sleep. Basically, that was the whole point of the story that he was watching me sleep. But when I woke up, I didn't freak out. Like, oh my god, why are you watching me sleep? Like, weirdo. No, I thought it was just really romantic and I thought it was really sweet. Like, you know, you know when you're just there, you just let you just want to be there for somebody you don't want to disturb them you don't want to you just want to let them know that you're there without letting them know that you're there but yeah it, like I caught him watching me sleep so yeah oh anyway back to the song back to the song so yeah she's watching him sleep and um she's just like looking at him you know kind of like just watching him and just thinking like if that was me now if I if I was in Jewish shoes and I was just watching Sharok sleep the things that would just be going on in my mind <laughs> I'm not gonna say it I'm not gonna say it oh no I'm not I'm not but yeah she's watching him sleep and like he looks so adorable he looks so adorable. He's just laying there with his little with his finger on his lip, like, and he's just laying there. And she's just like, she's just like mesmerized because that's what I'll be. I'll just be like mesmerized by him. I'll just be like, <sighs> gorgeous, gorgeous man. And so she goes into a dream and like she starts singing and yeah obviously she's dreaming of him she's dreaming of him and like you know of her and him together and falling in love and all those kind of things so yeah so for the movie yeah i was told to watch it i watched it and i loved it oh my god like it's such oh. it's 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 it's, it's, a, oh, it's an annoying but sad, but good, and it's like, you know, everything all at once is, is sad, it's action, it's like, you know, annoying, because you know, kind of, it's the storyline, you kind of, you kind of know, well, for me anyway, while watching it, like, when, um, you know, when they had that big um, bust or something, and they were trying to catch the, the bad guys, and so all of them in the department, doing the bust so um you know at the end of the bust Jackie Shroff was killed his character was killed and when I was watching it it's like I knew who the person was who killed him 
it was kind of like predictable. It was kind of like predictable for me. I just thought that, yeah, it's a bit pre predictable. But anyway, Jackie Shroff's character dies. And in the film, he has, um, how many kids did he have? Was it four kids? I think he had um, four kids. Yeah, so he was a single dad and he was raising his kids, but he was also a policeman and he it was a it's obviously a dangerous um job. So the reason why he was killed is because he found out that somebody in his department was like a a bad seed, basically. Yeah, so um there was someone in his department who was working for the bad guys, who was stealing like um drugs that they would um confiscate and all those kind of things so he was investigating that and so i think the guy who was the the mole the bad guy was um kind of knew that he was being investigated and so he took him out he took jackie shroff out and so sharuk now sharuk was his best friend and partner and so he now took over looking after the children but because he's he's not good with people in the film he's like really not good with people he's just a good policeman he just wants to be a policeman and that's it he just wants to do his job and that's it he doesn't want to be bothered by anyone he doesn't want to be bothered by children because like even before jackie shrove died even when he would go around to like visit jackie and the kids the kids always used to play pranks on him and they would just like they didn't really like him and he didn't really like them because he was like yeah like oh get this kids away from me kind of thing and so <laughs> it was funny and so he um obviously needed help <laughs> He needed help to look after the kids. So he asked Dewey to um, come and help him. She's so dramatic. Well, in the film, she's so dramatic because when he went to go and get her from her um, colony where she lived, you know when, <laughs> when like a bride is leaving home, going to her husband's house and everyone is like crying and you know, they're all lined up and she's greeting everyone and crying and then she's going off. That's what she was doing as if she was being married off to Sharuk and he was just there waiting on it. Was he on his bike or on his, in his car or whatever? And he was just like, oh, we're getting married. Like, what the heck is this? What is going on here? But yeah, so they, the, the kids, they did just really did not like him. And then obviously when he died, they blamed him for their dad's death. So they really was not like, they really just like, oh, they really were not taken to him at all. And so um, Dewey was helping. She came in and became like a, a, a good friend to the kids and like a mother figure to them. And, you know, um, Sherlock started seeing her in a different light and then they kind of like fell in love. And um, in the end, Sherlock found like a diary that Jackie, Jackie, um, had where he was like doing his investigation of the the mole um so um Sharuk now decided to take on that role to find who the killer of Jackie was and like you know when I said it was predictable um the film I just knew that the same guy who killed Jackie would end up being the partner to Sharuk so the guy who was Sherlock's partner, who ended up being Sherlock's partner on the team was the same guy who killed Jackie. So um, I just knew it. So in, in some ways, the film is kind of predictable, but it's a laugh. It's a nice film. And um, yeah, it's, you know, I would say it's one of his greatest films, like one of um, Sherlock's greatest films, but it is a good film to watch. I like it. Uh, I didn't think I would like it, but I like it. And I like the songs. I like the songs in it. The first song that I um, reacted to from this movie was um, something Bazilaga, Hey Dil Bazilaga, something like that. And then now this one. And this one is more soothing, more soft, more like calm. I love the background. I love like, like, have you noticed in most of Sherrick's like, romantic songs like 
where they film is always very like naturistic, like very nature. And like, he loves like cliffs. He's always on top of a cliff somewhere. And I'm like, don't they get scared? Seriously, like he's just resting on a cliff and walking up on a cliff. And I'm just like, gosh, don't they get scared? I'll be terrified because I'm a big baby. Like, I, I'm terrified of heights. I don't like heights. Like, if I'm too high up, mm -mm, I, will, I will probably just faint. <laughs> I'll probably just faint. And, like, yeah. But, yeah, I loved it. I loved the outfits. Jewelry looks lovely. Um, I don't know. Like, I like Dewey and Sherlock's pairing, I do, but sometimes I don't know if I really get, like, that feeling that I get when I watch him with, like, Kajol, or when I watch him with, like, Rani, or, like, with Pretty, like, when I watch him with those three um, ladies, like, I could just feel the love, I could just feel the love, like, the sexual chemistry and like you know you can just feel it but for some reason with Dewey I don't know like I mean it, it, it's romantic in a way but it's not too too romantic sometimes I just get like oh okay it's just acting you know it's just acting so yeah like okay I can I get it like she loves him and he loves her but it's not that oh I want to be her right now. I just like, while he's holding her, I want to like, you know, that feeling when he holds his like female character and he's caressing them and kissing on their neck and all of that. You can feel it like with, uh, with like Kajol, with like Rani, with Pretty, even with Maduri, I can feel that love. I can feel that sensual, like, oh yeah, I just, I just want to be there. I want to be there. I want to be Maduri. I want to be Fingy, but with Dewey, I'm like, Mm -hmm. okay okay i'll get it yeah they love like okay yeah you know it's just like mm, okay yeah <laughs> it's not like mm, yeah you know you know the difference <laughs> you know what i mean so it's just like mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. instead of mm. <laughs> you know <laughs> But anyway, I'm just rambling on now. But I loved it. It's nice, beautiful. So yeah, with Sony, we all know beautiful voice, beautiful singer, and um, yeah, they looked good. <laughs> they looked good, and I loved it. Anyway, guys, so that's my little reaction. That's my mini recap. That's um, my little story time I threw in there. I hope you enjoyed it all. If you did, then make sure to give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I upload. Make sure to share the video, guys, and leave your comment down below. Come on in and join the TJ Isaacs family. You are most welcome. I can't wait to have you here. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go now. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I will see you in my next one. But remember guys, beauty is skin deep and we are so shallow. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. Bye-bye.